Hello, welcome to my new channel, Why Box Me. Um, so this channel is completely dedicated to Boxing Star. And I've been playing this game for about half a year, and I've been completely addicted to this game. Like, I'm not even joking. I play it, like, daily. I absolutely love this game. And so my main purpose for the channel is just to, you know, make videos as much as possible about Boxing Star, you know, going through, you know, the troubles when I'm playing this game, definitely giving tips, uh, boss tips, definitely, you know, gears, uh, skills, stuff like that, how to make you especially better in this game, especially since this game is mainly aimed for, you know, pay to wins, I'm definitely not pay to win, if I was, I honestly wouldn't be making a video on this, because I've seen a lot of people, you know, who've had trouble, especially in other videos, on like bossing and stuff and they just can't get better and this is literally my main purpose you know to to make sure to, you know just to go through a journey with you guys and uh yeah give you some really good tips so for skills uh i mainly go for the stunner hunter uppercut i've been through almost every single one of these uppercuts and I definitely think uh, Stunner Uppercut Smash, the final skill, is probably one of the coolest skills ever. You know, I've I've been through the Stamina Burner. Everyone uses it, so I don't want to use it. And I went for Stunner Hunter because, you know, why not? It counters probably the most popular Uppercut skill ever. <laughs> that's literally the hint that I've... That's literally the motivation for using it, too. And for Gold... Definitely save up for the last slot and go for guard break. Really helpful. Really, really helpful. And if you guys don't want to go for uppercut, my secondary choice would definitely be the hook. Right? Hooks are amazing, fast. Definitely faster than uppercuts. And jabs, I really want to go for jabs. Like, no one uses jabs when you're like the end. So, if you want to go for hooks, go for the stamina burner. Like, the jumping hook is super fast. Super, super fast. I recommend that over any of the hooks, I'd say. Right? The purple is also good. You know, the straights. Um, they're really good for paralyzing. Absolutely amazing. Training. Try to do it as much as possible. Like, every time you get a notification, just click on it. It takes five seconds. And just continue off of whatever you were doing. Like, this really helps. Really, really helps if you want to get better at this game. For gym, you should definitely go to the gym every single day, too. Like, this might seem like a pain in the butt. But it adds every day. It literally adds. Like, I, I've been doing this for, like, maybe two to three days. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. It gives you... It doesn't boost your speed that much but it's definitely really helpful especially since it's free for my uh gloves i go for the fireball bq bk uh total speed you definitely want that you want as much speed as possible in this game uh so yeah for jabs fire what is that yeah that's still my upper <laughs> jabs is fight bl another uh, total speed level booster and hook another total speed booster so you might be wondering why where's my hyper you know i i honestly hate hypers in this game like it ruins the experience for me and I, using hyper is like a no skill thing so for me i'm, I'm definitely not using it it's absolutely cra trash for protectives i use heretic heretic um of god yw since I know everyone uses a Mega, literally, I would just get this item. Like, you can't get it, but, like, just aim, try to get it in a box if you're lucky enough. Then upgrade it to the max, man. Like, this is super helpful. My stats are absolutely trash because I didn't modify it. But go for speed down. Like, uppercut speed down or hook speed down. That's what you're trying to aim for. Uh, honestly, <laughs> that's really... Honestly, all I can tell you about that stuff. For gloves, definitely go for speed. Speed, right? As you can see, like, all these guys, the top, per like, the top five are all, like, level sevens and eights 
which pisses me off because, you know, it just ruins the game. It ruins the game a little bit. Uh, I'd rather go through all the suffering and pain and just end up being the best than just, you know, literally taking five minutes, you know, spending money on it and just, you know, beating everyone. It's just not fun. Uh, for bosses, level one, two, three, uh, were easy. Sam, and when I was a beginner, I had a little bit of trouble. But the main trouble was, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but it's F Fritjof. This guy is so hard well, when I first him. Probably because he was a jabber. Uh, he's definitely not hard anymore because, you know, I'm level 93, but... I'll definitely tell you the tips how to beat this guy. So, start off... Guard, just just guard the whole time. Like this guy's jab, this guy jabs like always. Just try, you know, he's slow, so just you know, it's, you can easily guard the uh, weave through all those you know big movements. And the key to being this guy is literally, oh right for high, for his mega left and right. Just remember that. So key to being jabbers is just waiting for about three to four seconds and then striking. Right or when they're jabbing you, just try to uppercut, uppercut or hook. You, it usually uh, usually hits them. But then you also have to play, you know, your gloves and factor because if your speed is really bad, then you'll never really hit him. Your speed has to be over his reflexes. So definitely try to get better gloves. Try to aim for like the gloves that I have, the fireballs. Uh, I made a mistake when I was a beginner. Upgrading, you know, common gloves because I thought they were good. <laughs> no, just, I mean, you can, but then definitely, definitely try to get the fireballs. It's all about luck, honestly, in uh, when it comes to gloves. But, yeah, definitely try to get the gloves. All right, and that's literally how you beat this guy. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Just block all the time and wait for the right timing. Right, wait for three or four seconds and then strike this guy right away. I've also, I've also seen uh, people, you know, try to, you know, go as high as possible in their leagues. It doesn't work. Just stay there. Right. I'll get into this in like a later video. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and give me a like because I'm new.